Hey everyone, it's Rochelle with Losing It on Keto. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you how I bulk prepare um, satisfying my sweet tooth. So I am going to go ahead and prepare um, what has what I've adopted as my go-to um, pudding slash jello recipe and then my ice cream recipe. And this is how I'm satisfying my sweet tooth. And I should say, I'm in my third month of PSMF. And I've posted a video about this before where I lost 19 pounds in my third month. And I have to tell you that I'm at this stage now where I feel like my size and my shape is changing dramatically. So case in point, this morning I dropped off a bunch of stuff uh, for, you know, to clothes that don't fit that I've donated. Uh, and it's a great feeling. And then I, um, went in my closet for clothes that, um, I haven't brought out for the summer yet. Um, thinking I wouldn't fit in them yet. And not only do I fit in them, but I comfortably fit in them. So, um, so this is going really nicely and it's giving me the signs that, you know, I've mentioned in a prior video that I'm not going to fight my sweet tooth. I'm going to fit it into my program, and I am. And so, anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and bulk prepare the items that I'm using, like I said, to satisfy my sweet tooth. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my pudding slash jello, and it couldn't be simpler because my go-to recipe is the one that doesn't require any cooking. It doesn't require, um, there's no eggs, there's no dairy. So watch how, how easy this is. So um, I've got my ingredients here. And actually, let me just grab some salt. Let's see, I don't have my protein powder. Let me grab that. So the protein powder that I've been using for this, and you can use any protein, but um, the one I'm using is a beef protein. So it's the Chocolate Equip, which is a beef protein base. So I've got that, and I just need to check one thing because I don't recall. I make this so often I should know this, but I don't. Yeah, I was checking to see if I put acacia fiber in it, and I do. Okay. All right, so let's, this is really just throwing some ingredients together. It really is super, super simple. And this time I'm actually gonna make it a little bit differently, which is I have been adding some gelatin and with that gelatin, I'm getting more of a uh, jello, which is fantastic, don't get me wrong. But, um, but I'm thinking even with the less jello that when I um, cook it on the stovetop and I use a hand mixer, I get a pudding. Um, I think because of using water versus milk or a watered down milk, uh, I'm still getting a, a jello type with this recipe, a jello type consistency with this recipe. And I'm attributing it to, like I said, the water versus having some milk in it. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave out the gelatin. I'm going to add some other thickeners. Uh, I'm going to keep the glucomannan powder and the tira gum. I'm just going to get rid of the gelatin. And then I'm hoping what I'm going to get is a pudding consistency, but we'll see. But anyways, it's, it's very simple. It's a video I've posted on here before. Um, so I'm just going to throw all the ingredients in the blender. So... For, I make, um, so I have, I have these dishes here. I've got six of them. 
and that's how I store these as my servings and sometimes I count this as one serving so half the recipe as one serving so one recipe makes two servings sometimes um, depending upon what I'm having for the day etc I um, conclude that one recipe makes four servings so um, so that's how I handle that um, for my meal planning for this I'm planning for three recipes to yield six six servings so I have six um, dishes here okay so the recipe for three servings three recipes that's 24 ounces so I've got a bottle here of water that's 25 ounces so I'm just going to go ahead and put the whole thing in then one recipe calls for 60 grams of um, protein powder so I'm making three times this so I need 180 grams of the protein powder so I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the scale and I'm going to subtract so when I've got minus 180 then I know I've got what I need. So we're at minus 61. And this equipped chocolate does not have any acacia fiber in this. And that's what I was checking on. And yes, I'm going to add some, some acacia fiber. Okay, I need this to be minus 180. A little bit more. Look at that. Ooh, I was almost perfect. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we've got the protein powder. Let me put that away now. <clears throat> okay. Now I need um, one tablespoon of cocoa powder for each recipe. So I'm going to do three of these. Okay, so we're done with that now. Get that out of the way. I'm going to add some salt to my liking, so I don't find the need to uh, measure it. It's probably about a half teaspoon. Okay, and I need some acacia fiber. So I'm going to do uh, three grams per uh, recipe, so that's nine, nine grams. So I'm going to take nine grams off of here. Sprinkle that in and we need three more. There we go. Okay, so now we're done with the acacia fiber. And now for three recipes with the glucomannan powder, I am, we don't need the scale any longer. For, for this recipe anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do 
one and a half teaspoons, so a half a teaspoon of glucomannan powder per recipe. So there's a teaspoon, and I'll do a half. And now for three of these, and we won't need this any longer, so we'll put that away. So for three of these uh, recipes, I'll use half a teaspoon of tarragon. And then I'm just going to do a squirt of better stevia and a squirt of the arc sugar, which is allulose. Just a, it's got some sweetness, just a quick, quick squirt, not too much. But it's all based on, you know, what do you like in terms of sweetness. So it's all we need there. And now I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. This isn't going to take any time at all. And what I'm going to have is I'm going to have anywhere from, if I choose two servings per, I'm going to get six. And if I choose four servings per, then I will get 12 uh, servings. So just, you know, about a minute or two. And this is ready to go. So I'm just going to pour this in and I'm going to eyeball it that it's about the same height. If you want to be super precise, you can um, weigh this out. Okay, but I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on these. And then put these in the refrigerator, and like I said, uh, they'll set overnight and they'll be ready to go. And I'm expecting a creamy um, texture. So maybe I'll show you what these are like. But you've already seen it. There's really no need. The whole purpose of this is just to show you how simple doing bulk meal prep is for... Uh, Satisfying your sweet tooth, what, what I'm doing. Because I had got some questions to say, hey, if you're able to incorporate these, are you really losing? And the answer is absolutely. Okay, let me just clean up a little bit. Put these in the refrigerator. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the ice cream and do that in bulk as well. And so that is as easy. Okay, so that's all taken care of. Now let's do the ice cream. All right, so we get our blender back here. And I am going to make five pints. Once again, I'm making this in bulk. I already have my keto milk prepared. Remember, this is one part milk to three parts water. So all I do for this and I can tell you from experience that you can only do three in the Vitamix. Okay? So I'll do three and then two. But what I do, and I know the acacia fiber is going to bulk this up, so I go just a little bit below the max fill line on these pints. And that's how I measure out the, the milk. So there's two, and then one more. And what I'm going to make is I'm going to make the keto chow banana. I have a taste for that. I haven't had the banana since, um, well, I've had banana pudding. Um, but I don't think I've had the banana since my birthday. Okay, so there's enough liquid for... Three uh, ninja ice creams. Now I'm going to go ahead and do three scoops. 
of the keto chow. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Then I'll get this out of the way. And then all I need to do is I'm going to add three tablespoons, uh, yeah, three tablespoons of allulose, one tablespoon per recipe. And I've got the allulose right here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of terra gum, and that's it. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to mix this, and this is ready to go. So you see, preparing the ice cream is uh, super simple as well. So one tablespoon, two. And three. This. So when you're using keto chow, you really don't have many ingredients to, to add. Okay, and I just remembered that I forgot to add the tarragum. Alright, it doesn't take very long to mix that. And now we've got, man, does that smell nice like bananas? Um, now we've got enough for three here. So we'll go ahead and fill these to the max fill line and the acacia fiber, like I said, has increased the volume. So it should give me enough for three pints to the max fill line for each. And as you can see, sometimes it even goes uh, beyond that. A little bit. There's bubbles in this, so that'll That'll settle, and it won't be as much over the fill line as it looks. Okay, so we've got three of the ice creams ready to go. I'm going to rinse this out, and then I'm going to make two more. Go ahead and put these in the freezer. Now, I'm going to make, I have a taste for peanut butter. So I'm going to make the equipped peanut butter, which is a beef-based protein. So the one I just made with the keto chow is a milk-based one. So I'm going to go ahead and make this one now. And I just checked and I don't remember. I believe there is some acacia fiber in the peanut butter, unlike the chocolate one. And yes, there is, okay? So I'm not gonna add any more acacia fiber to this. So I'm going to measure out the liquid the same way, using the pint. As my guide. So there is one. And there is two. And now this one I'm going to have to weigh out. But I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of allulose. This is for creaminess. Okay, done with that. Put that away. So you guys can see, I'm making a whole lot here. Super, super simple. Add a little bit, a quarter teaspoon of tarragum. So I'm done with this now. And then 
for two recipes. I'm going to do 35 grams. Based on my macros that I'm planning, I'm going to go 35 grams. So actually, let me take this. Okay, so taking this out, I'm at a minus 11. So I want to go to minus 46 for the first one. Okay, five more. There we are, perfect. Okay, now I want another 35. So that's 81. Okay, a little bit more. There we are, perfect. Okay, so now we've got our protein powder. We've got, let me just think about this. There's already salt. I, you know what, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt because the keto chow is saltier than the equip. So just a little bit. Okay, so that's all we need. And if I had used another um, protein powder, say whey, or my milk protein concentrate, well, I would have added um, two grams of acacia fiber per recipe. And then I would add um, the flavoring. So I do anywhere from a half a teaspoon, I'm sorry, anywhere from um, one to two teaspoons of flavoring all the way up to when I make butter pecan, I have done an entire tablespoon for one recipe. So it's really to the flavor that, that you want. But, um, but if you're using a, a, a protein powder that isn't flavored, like the one I had with the milk protein concentrate or with the whey um, that I've used, then you want to add your um, flavoring as well as the sweetener. And so you see, I use the better stevia and I use the, um, the RX sugar, uh, depending upon what flavor I'm making. But that's, and then the acacia fiber, and you've already got the allulose, the terra gum, so that's all you need to add to it. And then if you wanna add uh, some salt, you can, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up these two and then I will have five pints of ice cream. Super, super, super simple. Okay, once again, it doesn't take that long to mix these up. Mmm, once again, nice peanut butter smell. We'll go ahead and fill our containers. Hey guys, I'm back in this segment. I've been letting this sit, but um, but this is still bulked up more than the liquid. You saw me measure it out. So I know there's a lot of bubbles in here and you could see this line. So I know there's a lot of bubbles, but I've been letting this sit long enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take the rest of this, which sometimes this happens. And then I have this because you can see how that made a, you see the liquid and then you got this foam on top. Um, so I know this is liquid and this is foam, but I don't want to fill these up anymore. So sometimes this happens, it even happens with the keto chow because of the acacia fiber. So sometimes I just have this as like, a mini little protein shake. So that's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just treat this as, a, like I said, as a mini little, um, a mini little uh, protein shake. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call these done and put these in the uh, freezer. But guys, making the, making this ice cream, you know, preparing the, the ice cream mixture for the Ninja Creamy is super simple. 
So there you have it. So this is the, the bulk prep that I do for the sweets that I'm having. So the pudding slash jello is a go-to that's in my standard rotation as well as the ice cream. So I just wanted to show that um, to you um, because I'm having these daily. So just wanted to do a, a relatively quick video on that and show you how easy it is to, to make these in, uh, you know, five, six or more servings. Okay. So that's all I've got for you. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in the next video.
Okay, I mixed it on light ice cream four times and that's pretty much soft serve ice cream right there. My nephew gave me a tip, I haven't tried it yet, which is to just do it on um, ice cream. He said you get more of it rather than light ice cream, I mean, uh, rather than soft serve, you get it like if it was in the carton. So I haven't tried that. But anyways, this is what it looked like looks like after mixing. And it mixed pretty pretty well in spite of what was what seemed like there was a, a distinction because remember <clears throat> Remember, it looked like this. And then this is what it looks like after you mix it in the creamy. So you say, well, what, what is this here? I think that's just the ice. Yeah, you could see that's just the ice on the side that comes from the water. <clears throat> and that's in the keto milk. But yeah, you guys, this is nice. This was a peanut butter one I made, if you remember. This is very good. So I guess I just know that I need to use less liquid with the Equip. But typically, it's as easy as what I showed you with the milk protein concentrate um, or whey or... Um, the keto chow where, you know, you, you go up, not exactly to the max fill line, just, just below it. So like an ounce or so less, two ounces less to make, uh, room for the, uh, volume that's going to get created due to the acacia fiber and the other ingredients. But, but once again, my main purpose for doing this video was to show how easy it was. What do I do to make my, um, satisfy my sweet tooth and prep for that. And I do that in bulk and I shared that with you. So that's all I got for you in this video. I'm going to, um, clean out the lid to my Ninja Creamy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.